everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and welcome to Ken's Creations Roadmap to Cricut Design Space. In this series of videos, we're gonna take a personal look at Cricut Design Space and all the different pieces that go into it that you can use to make the perfect project. So let's take a look at what today's installment is all about. So in today's installment, we're gonna take a look at the attach feature and how you can use it in Cricut Design Space. Now when the attach feature came out, I was very confused by it. I didn't understand why I would need it, what I would use it for, or how it differed from being grouped. So let me show you an example here of when you would use it and what makes it different. I'm going to create a card here, thanking all my fans for watching my videos. I'm going to be using the attach feature to attach the score line and the text to the card. So let's get started and I can show you the difference between what it looks like when we hit group and attach. Now we can see that my card is on the screen and it's roughly 10 inches wide and 5 inches tall. So I need to make sure to add my score line in the center of this card so the card will fold. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my grid lines for a frame of reference by clicking this box. Now I want to make sure that the score line is on top of the card. So I want to make sure this is on the top layer. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, right click and hit move to front. Now I can go ahead and move this score line to the six inch mark. Once I've done that, this is where I'd want to attach it. But I want to show you the difference between group and attach. So when I first did Cricut Design Space, I would draw a box around it, I would right click and hit group and say perfect I'm good to go. But when I hit go you're going to notice that the card is separate from my score line and this is where attach comes into play. We're going to go ahead and select our item and hit ungroup and this time we're going to draw a box around the card, right click and we're going to hit attach. This is going to attach the score line in that specific place to tell the Cricut Explorer that the score line is going there. So now when I hit go, you're going to see one mat, you're going to see this card here and the score line exactly where I want it. And that's what the attach feature is used for. You're essentially attaching one layer to the bottom layer and telling the Cricut Explorer exactly where you want that item. Now let's say I want to add text to my card. And I want it to actually write the text on the card for me using the pens. I'm going to go ahead and hit add text and I'm going to type my sentiment. I'm going to go ahead and populate that. And the first thing I want to do under my edit key is center my text. Now, because I want this to write instead of cut, I'm going to go up to my drop down here and select has a writing style. You're going to see my text change. And now we're telling the Cricut Explorer we're using pens to write this on the card. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit and I'm going to move it where I want it on the card. Now once again, if I just hit group, it's going to separate out this thanks for watching Ken's creations on its own entire mat. So once again, it's important that if I want this to be wrote using the pens in a specific place, I position it on my card. So I'm going to select that, this time I'm going to hit the shift key and select that back layer and I'm going to go ahead and right click and hit attach again. Now I've attached this to the bottom layer so when I hit go you're not only going to see the score line attached but you're going to see my text attached as well. And it's great because when you hit go the Cricut Explorer now knows since you've attached these two items we also need to change and put in our pen and we also need to be able to put in the scoring tool. So that's a quick overview of what I use the attach feature for. The things to keep in mind is make sure to always bring whatever you're attaching to the front. So I want to make sure that anything I'm attaching to the top is on the top layer and that's the bring to front option. Well, I hope you learned something new in that installment of Ken's Creations Roadmap to Cricut Design Space. If you haven't seen all the videos in this series, make sure to click the playlist on your screen now. You'll be taken to the playlist with the collection of the entire Roadmap to Cricut Design Space videos. Also, if you haven't checked out my print to cut videos, make sure to click this playlist now. 
This will give you an inside look of how to calibrate your machine, update your firmware, and get your machine ready for print to cut. All right, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Thanks.